My favorite part of the game is when Zeke said it's Zeke in time and then Zeke all over the place. That meme hasn't been relevant for like two years, has it? Hey, welcome back to more Zeke Chronicles 2. I'm still some last time we did a pretty quick uh, little mission, not too much. And then our main thing that we did is we opened up two new core crystals that are currently chilling out on... Well, not currently chilling out on Morag. Um, Hello there. Um, I will carry that are currently chilling out on Morag in Aegean and Herald. Don't rush and this Plan time... Of action. Well, we see that there's some quests for here. Melika. Hey, who are you? What are the Lycans? Oh, thank goodness. My name's Melika. Mother is often in the water. She has me in the end of. I'm Gomo. I have no idea to Gomo. There's been someone's been bothering me. Like, someone's spying on me all the time. I was accepted to the choir of Indoor just recently, and I think this really started. No, right. Well, it's probably a little crazy. It's quite unfortunate. Cosmos, what do you think? I can care. Yeah, well, if you won't be so kind, might I ask you not me identify the culprit? Any more, I if I may. It's fine, Richard. You don't have to say it. Let's resolve the situation. You want to thank you oh, so much. Uh, can you maybe uh, start by desking around amongst the locals? Just bring a casual conversation, see if anyone knows anything. I'm sure the culprit must be someone living in the city, otherwise I have no idea why they were... I'll be waiting around here, so please let me know if you found anything. And that starts us at Melika, the chorister. Did not know chorister was a word. But apparently, it is a word. So yeah, a bunch of people that we can go out and talk to. We'll start off with this small child over here. Hey, I got a question. You're not like that girl, are you? I guess I can tell you then. This girl's been spying on... Uh, I've seen spying on Melka a lot lately. They were here... Uh, there were some nasty-looking guys there, too. <laughs> I tried to get closer and find out what she was up to, but she gave me the slip. I can tell you more, but that's all I got. Cheers. Well, that's some progress, at least. Not much, but yeah. I thought there was a different choir, but like there at least is a choir. Becca. Specca. What you wanna hear about me, Cap? You joined the choir of Indo recently now. You only more than the came who passed the whole audition. It's really prestigious just to be in the choir. The best singers are allowed to join. I mean the choirs you can say about official ceremonies like when they're moving the Titan and stuff. Is that the only one? See you around then. Does it seem like she was our saboteur? Or spy or whatever. Got some painting going on over there. We got some classes here. Gotta load in. There's... See? There we go. The, the children have to load in first. Alright, Surge. Malika, what about her? I don't know that much about those fancy choir types. I can tell you a bit about the choir itself. Apparently, once you're in, uh, join the choir and end all, you're set for life. I mean, it's an official branch of the Praetorium, so they actually get special treatment. I swear if you geese don't get much of the way of opportunity, so a lot of folks dream of joining up. Of course, I didn't make bad the audition. My mom and dad were so disappointed. About all the info I got. Pretty classy stuff. One last person in Roni. You like a very villain like Quagga Melica? I'm mm, sad, I don't know a lot about her. Maybe you should try and see another ride girl, Abina. She's a refugee, so she keeps saying she was gonna make it to quite a matter of what. I haven't seen her around lately. I'm not sure what she's up to. It's got all I know, afraid. Oh, thank you. Well, we got a lead. Someone named Albina. Um, what's the detail? Is this just daytime? Yeah. Um, it was actually something I do need to check. Um, and that'll be someone for me to deal with later. How'd your investigation go? Said there was an Orion girl in the refugee camp who was trying to get in the choir just like me. You know, being a kid, I didn't recognize the name, but. Mm. And it was all up in spot of the last audition. because I passed, she must have. Yeah. I like, uh, could you come with me for a bit? I'd like to meet Albina and talk to her in person. Yeah, it'll be alright. I can handle it. As long as you're with me, I mean. I said, we're trying to properly. Come on, let's go! I completely changed the voice, but whatever. <laughs> it'll be fine. It will be fine. Right, Albina? Hello, you, Albina! Malika? I never thought you'd come with me on your own. I was just wondering the best time would be to go and take you out. Take me out? You know what you want to kill? Huh? Thought you knew that already. You know why you hire those drivers to protect you? No, these are some kind of people offered to help! I wanted to come and talk to you! What's there to talk about? If it weren't for you, I would have made it to the choir. 
Hate you so much, you witch. You pig, you dirty little... Ugh. If it for you, I could have gotten rid of you. If I could just be rid of you, I could have everything I deserve. And get out of this hellish life and live like a respectable person. Give my mom and dad the rest and comfort they need. But that doesn't seem to solve any... Oh, but it will. It's gonna change my life for the better. I'm a refugee from Uriah, you know. And I know people in the mercenary base. Once they kill you and join the choir, I'll have the cash to pay them off. Once I explained that, they were glad to help. So I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to make you all disappear. Jesus. Got small children resorting to assassination attempts. What does this world come to? Back in my day, we handled these killings by ourselves. We didn't hire things out. Shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Come oh, um, Mia. Yeah, Female Axe has uh, a art. I don't remember what it's called. Again, I Shield Hammers aren't the best. I still like them, I think more than most do, but I do get why they're generally considered the worst class by a pretty wide margin. Oh well. Drop one down, I reckon. We lost. What am I gonna do not join the choir? I can't. I can't take many more of this life. If more for you, I. Alina, I don't know what kind of hardship you've been through, but I don't think it's right to join the choir in search of an easy life. You think Prater and Malthus will want people to sing at his sacred ceremonies for a reason like that? What are you saying? I'm the one in the wrong here? Oh, I get it. I think it was not good enough to make it in the choir. That's what I think. It's because you got lucky, you got some nerve. I'm not trying to boast about my own skills, I just think. Go on, say it. Convince me if you think I can. I just don't think the choir, if Indol exists, to provide wealth to its own members. I think the choir exists to enrich the hearts of everyone who hears it, its own members included. To join the choir, you need to be able to wish for the happiness of others and turn those feelings into song. Those reasons, those feelings are the, why the songs of the choir resonate with the people. You can't bring happiness to anyone or sing by singing while thinking only of yourself. That's why, um, I don't think I don't know how to say this. I'm just meant to argue with the speech like that. Damn it, Malika, I, I'm sorry. I'm the one who should be sorry. It really wasn't my place to say all that. You know the stupid thing? I love singing, I really do. I guess I'll try again. I'll sing for them again, and this time we'll get through to them. Maybe that way I can get the best of both worlds. Happy life and a happy heart. You just wait, though. One day I'll make everyone see that I'm a better singer than you. I guess I should look forward to that, then. And that's that, I reckon. Thank you so much for all your help, everyone. A lot scarier than I ever thought. could have thought. But I'm glad I managed to make up with all being in the end. This for you is thanks. I hope you come and listen to us sing sometime. Oh I wasn't even close to a Mickey voice getting in there, but... Milk and Albina were able to talk things out. The day may yet come when they sing together in the Cho Ear. Uh, we can go and zip on over. That's Cosmos level 3. Very nice. The Geon level 2, which probably also means Herald level 2. No. Okay, wow. And apparently we now just can't talk to Melika. Ah, well. Um. Well. Um, kind of just gonna keep with the same sort of thing. Uh, we're gonna pop into one of these is Nims, I think. No, it can't be because we have Nim out of the party. We have Wolfric out of the party. Um. Phew. That was a slog. Eh, whatever. So, where to now? What we're going to do is we're going to switch on over My to Veil. Boils. Well, we happen to be out here in Fawcett. Because there's some stuff that we can get by talking to Mesca over at Future Crafts. <laughs> hey, there's some pretty snazzy fabrics you got here. Hey, what are you from my ways, my dear? Not exactly. I thought they looked kind of cool. Yeah, young people admire my work is what makes all the trouble of weaving them worthwhile. It's hard to make then. Would you like to try your hand at it? I was just thinking, you got a pretty nice style going, but they're not quite up to the standards that we really after. Oh, you're a cheeky one. That does it, I'm teaching you. Track by my house won't even have the time you hear. No thanks. Oh, looks like I'm gonna try my hand on a spot of weaving. You've got tons of fashion sets, but you'll be great at it. That does unlock weaving for us. Which, uh, well, first of all, we have to System. go and unlock some of these. You think this sort of 
get that, and then in here. What to do? So these can give us a couple of different things. Uh, digging sand flies. I do not know exactly where to get these. Uh, but the fabulously fierce hat that is our reward from the one quest that we did. Um, What's here? I think we just have it for me. later or something. I know more than I let on. Poppy specialist field. But we can go and still <coughs> look for some bugs nonetheless. The name makes me think they would probably be on the beach. Because they were like sand flies or whatever. Um, I don't think there's a unique monster over here, so we can't even fight that. Um morning. Oh. We'll still keep our way down on the beach. Stepping on the beach. Stepping on the beach. Stepping on the beach. Let's see. It's probably minerals. Here, fishy, fishy. This is uh, ichthyology. Um, just more fish. Just a bunch of fish. That's a big fish in there. But yeah, um, we'll do a little bit more exploration around left theory for a little bit. Level 46 Serpond there. I don't think. Well, okay. It's definitely related to quests, but. Oh, okay. It, it just starts there. Okay, okay. I. Th Ooh, I might be, con uh, might be confusing it with a quest in 3. That starts in relatively similar circumstances, but I think I know what quest that is. There's some quests that's like, I don't know exactly where they start, but... Like, I kind of generally know what they do be, though. Um, but yeah. No sand flies here for us. Would have been nice, but alas. Um... Yeah, no, it will just... Um, which one is he on? Is it here? Yes, it is, it is. On Voltus. Right? Right? Let's go! Locating position. Mm. No, no, he's to the left. Right? Yeah, no, he's on Dharam Isle. There's a unique monster over here. Let's um, go. Locating position. Yeah, yeah, because we got the diagrams. Which, if we can just find the lad, there we are, Confiscator Jimmy. Um, yeah, we'll just. Well, first of all, I'm gonna make sure that I'm on my correct difficulty. I've. I've done that too many times at this point that I have to double check if I've missed it. Give it all you've got. But yeah, we'll fight Comscator Jimmy, and I'll cut away to one of your Or, well, I'll speed up to you. Oh, oh, um, actually, one thing to note about Comscator Jimmy, he does have a shackle, um, shackle driver. I believe he actually fully has. So, something to keep in mind. But yeah, other than that, we should find. Okay, uh, I had it wrong. It was not Shackle Blade. It was Nell or Shackle Driver rather. It was Nullify Heal. I knew there was something weird. I thought it was Shackle Driver, but no, it's uh, Nullify Heal, which is much worse. Okay, so, yeah, uh, that is something to keep in mind.
got close. Uh, yeah, Confiscator Jimmy is really difficult because he does have that, um, Shackle Heal. Which, again, it's very... That's an incredibly rare status. Um, I can't off the top of my head recall anyone else that has uh, Shackle Heal. I'm sure there are others out there, but... It's just like, off the this top of my, my head, I don't pop. remember. Um, that wraps that up nicely. We're just going to... That wraps that up nicely. We're gonna buff things up a little bit. Hey, we didn't do half bad. Didn't do half bad. And then I think Tora is at... Okay, he's a little bit behind yet. And Rex is pretty far behind on getting that finished up. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna pop on back into Fawcett and view at least one of these heart to hearts. Um, I'm sure one of them will not be related to a blade. Or a rare blade, I should specify. So, where to now? Okay, so the one right here is for Wolfric. So, not doing that one. Quite yet, at least. And this one... Why do I feel like this is a... Oh, I know what this one is. Okay, 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 okay. If we pop down here, some overgrown ivy. We need Fire Mastery 5 and Wind 3. Nah, I remember what this one is. Okay. Um, so we need a little bit more fire, a little bit more wind. What would you do without me? Pop you. Hey. Pop you. Don't think you will really sway things one way or the other. Oh, whoops. I'm sure it'll work out. Grab great. you. Looking forward to I know it. the wind was the main thing that we were missing, so. This should still be enough, though. Use my power! Fire, guide me! I call upon the we power of fire! We at three. With my skills. The wind is my mate! Oh, I was... I thought we were at... I thought it was five of each, but nope. Five and three. But burning that up, we get to Rex's Ooh. secret base! Which inside has a decent chunk of cash. And a holy necklace. As well as a heart-to-heart. So, Rex, you lived here? Huh? No! This is my getaway. You know, like a secret hideout. I lived on Gramps. I'd moor him next to that cliff over the way. What kind of kid were you, Rex? I don't know. I've not really thought about it. I bet you're curious too, right, Nia? Oh, uh, well, maybe a bit. I could tell you a few stories about when Rex was younger. Oh, yes. He was a wild child, that's for sure. A bit of a tear away. He was never the biggest child, but he had a strong sense of justice. Always picking fights with the local bullies. I think I still have the bumps to prove it. So he's been this full of energy his whole life? Sounds like you were right, Aunt Phil. My, my. You certainly seem interested. Well, then. Perhaps I'll tell you my best Rex story. First option will get you 100 trust with Pyra. Second will get you 200. Whoa, wait, just a sec. What do you mean, best? One day, one of the local kids was attacked by a monster. Without thinking, Rex jumped in to help him. That's a reckless Rex. That's your story. Of course I'm gonna help someone in danger. What happened after that? Both Rex and the kid had to be rescued by the villagers. Huh? Wasn't Rex meant to be the one doing the rescuing? That was his plan. Unfortunately, he just ended up in the same hot water. <laughs> Rex, you genius. That night, I heard Rex bawling his eyes out. Was he in pain from his wounds, I asked. But he replied, no. I just wish I'd been able to save my friend. Injury held no fear for him. 
But the anguish of not being able to save his friend was unbearable. And he cried about that? What's the big deal? Kids cry. It's normal. <laughs> no, Rex. Mia is impressed. Aren't you? Sure. I was surprised at your bravery. Even at that age. We admire you, Rex. Oh, stop it. You made me blush. <laughs> I told you it was a good story. And so it completes the heart heart little Rex. One thing I do, I will admit, I do have a little bit of a problem with just like kind of how good Rex is. Like, it's a character flaw that he's like too naive and all that. But I feel like he needs to, you know, not get away with it as often. Like, make the flaw. Whatever. That's writing trope. Xenoblade 2's writing is not the best, I'll admit that. Excuse me, could I bother you for a little help? I've been trying to speak to Selvagin on my spot with treasure trove. Well, no matter what we do, we just can't seem to open it. It really is a puzzler. Just first you know. Go for the mercy take on the shum. I have a go. Now, great. I'm curtain on you. <laughs> but, with all that taken care of, that'll do it for this time. And next time, we'll go on and... going to do Wolfric's quest, I think. I'm going to double check before I lock that in. I'm pretty sure we can do it now. Um, yes. Yes. My notes have a yes, but I'm double checking. Um, because I may be incorrect. Um, yes, I am incorrect. It's a good thing I double checked that. Okay, um, that's actually something that's... Okay, um, so, I'll actually, I'll bring this up. So, there's a... The reason that we'll have the, the little break is... There's going to be a point where we won't have Pyra in the party. Darkness um, the world and it's, it's kind of similar place. to... The game's not unfamiliar with it. You had a similar situation in end of chapter three. Uh, so there's a little bit where Pyra's not in the party. Um, and so that a lot of blade quests do need to have Pyra in your party. Wolfric's included. So there's quite a few that I'm not going to be able to do, um, even if we have the timing of them. Um, and Wolfric's happens to take place in the lower part of Tantal. So, yeah, um, that's another reason why I'm just gonna have to double check what blade quests we can do, um, and once we move on with the story, but, yeah. Regardless, that'll do it for this time, and next time, we'll find something to do for sure, but until then, see you guys later! Go on then, I've got nothing to hide. Grumps will just exaggerate it anyway. So you won't mind me telling them about the time you wet yourself when there was a monster attack? Huh? No, that's not... W what yourself? Rex, you baby. That was just when I was a kid. I don't do it anymore. Don't even think about carrying on with the story, Gramps. Oh, come on, we want to hear. No! Pyra, please! You don't want to hear it, do you? Um, actually, I kind of do. Huh? This is a story about the time one of the local bullies fell foul of a monster. Rex didn't hesitate. He packed up and... Grant, please stop! Is wet to yourself really that embarrassing? Super embarrassing! Nia, don't tell me it's never happened to you. <sighs> Maybe we should hear a different story. Oh, you'd like to hear an even more embarrassing story? No! Stop! Don't encourage him, Pyra! Huh? I just want to know as much about you as possible, Rex. Well said. Drivers and Blades should know everything about each other. Yeah, well, there's everything and there's everything. Can we please just drop it? <laughs> <laughs>